All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Los Angeles Chargers in tonight's late night video. Uh, maybe not for you guys. It's like almost 11 p.m. here in Tampa, Florida. Um, you got a matchup tomorrow against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and this is a team I love. I love the Pittsburgh Steelers, man. But at the same time, this new look Chargers team as a like football diehard junkie fan, as a Harbaugh fan, like this team is so freaking dope. And I just tomorrow, like I've seen the slate. There's some nice games. This is the game of the week, in my opinion. It really isn't even close. And I can't wait. And what the Chargers are doing right now, and by the way, Justin Herbert, at the time of this recording is a game time decision. I've seen some reports. I think it was like Ian Rappaport said he's going to play or that there's optimism that he can play. There is no way, shape or form, Justin Herbert does not play football tomorrow. Like, let me be the guy who takes, you know, all the heat if he doesn't play. Like, that's fine. There's no way, shape or form, Justin Herbert does not play football in less than 24 hours from now. But this game is going to be so good, and I'm so excited to see because everybody's ragging on both the Steelers and the Chargers on their first two opponents of the season. Week one against the Las Vegas Raiders. I've covered the Raiders for a couple of years now. I think this defense is one of the best in the National Football League, and that was one well-deserved, well-earned win, 22-10 to 10 at home against Las Vegas. And then, but like at the same time, it's week one, right? And then week two, you hit the road against Carolina and you dominate them. You decimate the Carolina Panthers one week ago. And, you know, everyone's just kind of like, there's teams like the Chargers and the Saints that like, you know, people are like just kind of waiting to see how it goes. I'm really big on the Chargers, regardless of how tomorrow's football game goes. So I want to talk about a couple of things in tonight's video. But before we do, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. We're posting like three Chargers videos every single week right now. So hit that like button. If you try and get this video to 100 likes, folks, that would mean the absolute world to me. And I also want to shout out to my boy Swaggy, who has a daily Los Angeles Chargers YouTube channel that we're going to throw the link on down below. Chargers are 2-0. They beat Carolina 26-3. They're 2-0 for the first time since 2012. J.K. Dobbins currently leads the NFL in rushing. He had 131 against the Panthers. He's got 266 on the season. And this is hardball football. You dominate the line of scrimmage, you're going to dominate or at least win a bunch of football games. And, you know, what's crazy is, like, the tackles and, like, Slater and all, like, people know the Chargers tackles. Or you at least know a little bit about Rashawn Slater. You know a little bit about Joe Alt because he's a rookie. But like the three other offensive linemen, you probably, if you're like a casual NFL fan, you know, no disrespect, no shade at all. Like I'm, I'm also like a casual enjoyer of NFL. What they're doing, what all five of these offensive linemen have done in the first two weeks of the season, it just has to be talked about. Only the Saints and the Steelers have a higher run percentage than the Chargers at 59.7%. And you're just offensive line, run game, play action, Justin Herbert, top 10 QB. Like, it's just the name of the game. They have the blueprint right now. And, you know, once again, no matter how this freaking game goes tomorrow afternoon, like, my opinion doesn't change on this Chargers team. They're averaging 197.5 rushing yards per game. So, the big question here, and I was reading a great article on PFF, I think it was PFF, about this offensive line and or just this game preview in general. And uh, what they were talking about kind of is, you know, can Joe all continue this strong start? Because tomorrow he's going to be going up against TJ Watt, an all pro edge rusher. And, you know, Joe all started his NFL career with just a beautiful performance against Max Crosby in 11 one on one snaps. He was just a beast. And then he follows it up against Javedon Clowney last week, who served him the lowest PFF game grade of his entire NFL career. But in week one, Watt, you know, 95.3 overall game by PFF. Week two, he still had 77.1. He had a sack in both games. Um, you're still, regardless of how Joe All plays tomorrow afternoon, you're still going to see some performances or some stats or some plays by TJ Watt that, you know, just reminds you, oh my God, it's TJ Watt. But we keep saying, like, you have to win on both sides of the ball. If you can win the line of scrimmage, you're going to win a ton of football games. And I know we're talking about the defense, but real quick, this offense or this 
we were talking about the offense. This defense, you know Joy Bosa, you know Khalil Mack, but these guys are balling, man. The only pair of edge rushers in the top 10 of PFF grading, Joey Bosa at 91, Khalil Mack at 10th, 83.4. Joey Bosa, by the way, that 91 grade was third in the NFL. But, like, you're entering this week with J.K. Dobbins and hopefully, I'm assuming, Justin Herbert. Entering week three, the Steelers run defense. They're ranked sixth in the NFL. They're one spot ahead of the Los Angeles Chargers. But once again, J.K. Dobbins currently leads the NFL in rushing yard with 266. And, you know, it's evident in this Chargers offense because Justin Herbert hasn't had to throw for over 150 yards in order to win a game so far. So good coaches, in my opinion, they extract the most talent possible from their players. And they also set them up with for success. The Chargers currently are second in the league in rushing through two weeks, like we said. They're fourth in yards per carry. Sixth in expected points added per designed rush. The film is even better. Like, this is sustainable. Whether or not JK has a dud or the Chargers run game has a dud against the Steelers, it still looks to be a sustainable rushing offense. And that's going to be the bread and butter because you know, we talked about it all offseason, or a lot of people talked about it all offseason. Could you imagine Justin Herbert with like a great run game or even a good run game? Like not trying to rag on the Chargers team here in the last couple of years since Herbert came into town. But like, I mean, JK had the most, I don't even want to say the statistic because I'm sure I'm going to botch it. But like last season, for example, the Chargers called design runs on 43% of their third downs with three or fewer yards to gain. That was the fourth lowest rate in the NFL. This year, they've had nine third downs with three or fewer yards to gain this season. They ran the ball on all nine of them. All nine. Nine for nine. They've converted seven of those nine attempts. Seven of those nine attempts. As Greg Roman said in February on building a run game, you got to commit yourself to do it or else you got no chance at being anything better than average. And, you know, it's paying dividends immediately. So, you know, I know Justin's, banged up he's got a high ankle sprain and hopefully he plays in tomorrow's football game i think even steelers fans would say that because you hate injuries no matter what team you support no matter what team you hate you just hate injuries and you know i i don't even want to talk about justin justin doesn't suit up because i just once again i i mean what do i know but I, there's no way shape or form justin herbert is not playing tomorrow's football game hopefully that um ages pretty well but this is going to be a great game, and I'm so excited and curious to see how Harbaugh, Herbert, this offensive line, J.K. Dobbins, how they navigate one of the best defenses in the NFL in the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. So that's all we got for tonight, just kind of a little rant and ramble Chargers video for you guys, a little bit of a hype video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content, and hopefully we see you guys in 24 hours. That's it for me. I got a hiccup. Peace.